Did you know that you can get a VAT refund for any products you purchase in Thailand that are worth above 5000 Thai baht? Does the iPhone cost less in Thailand than in India? How to get a VAT refund if you purchase an iPhone in Thailand? Before going into further details, welcome back to our channel Nomadic Mahesh with the new video. This is Mahesh. I visited the Studio 7 Apple products retail store located in one of the most famous shopping malls in Bangkok called MBK Center. I will show you the iPhone and other Apple product prices in detail. Currently, one Thai baht exchange value in, in Indian currency is 2 rupees 50 paise approximately. Here, iPhone 14 Pro Max 128GB cost is 44,900 Thai baht, which is approximately 1 lakh 12,000 rupees as per current exchange value. In India, the same model price is 1 lakh 39,000, but we may get further less price with some cashback offers and additional discounts. So, if we consider those things, this model is not worth buying in Thailand. But if you buy a 512GB variant and if you deduct the VAT refund money, definitely you will get it for a lesser price than India. The Apple Care Plus coverage cost also less when compared with India. The 256GB variant is also cheaper in Thailand. So, when you visit Thailand, check the currency exchange value that time and compare the prices in India for the model which you are planning to purchase and decide whether to buy it or not. Next, iPhone 14 Pro starting price is 41,990 Thai baht for 128GB variant. The iPhone Plus model starts from 37,900 Thai baht. They also have an iPhone 13 model which costs 29,900 Thai baht. So the iPhone prices in Thailand are definitely less when compared with India. But you should check carefully how much you will benefit if you buy here and also check if they are giving any offers. These are Apple MacBooks. In simple words, these are also laptops like we have from Lenovo, HP, Dell and other companies. In MacBooks, they have two models, MacBook Pro and MacBook Air. These MacBooks are very costly and they have a lot of variants. These are like Windows desktop computers and they have 4 models in this segment like Mac Mini, iMac, Mac Pro and iMac Pro. These are iPads that are commonly used by people after the iPhone. They have a lot of models like iPad Pro, iPad Mini and iPad Air. Based on the money we spend, these models and variants also will change. In this store, we can get a lot of accessories that are related to all Apple products. In India, I visited a few Apple stores but I never saw this kind of collection in one place. They have huge options. If you already purchased an Apple product, you can buy the accessories here. One thing I noticed here is there is no MRP value printed on these accessories boxes like how we get the MRP value printed from the company itself. They just have normal stickers on them with the price. I am not able to understand why it is so. After browsing all the products, we bought AirPods which cost 790 Thai baht. They are giving a warranty for this. So these are genuine accessories only. Now we will come to the second part of the video which is the most important. If you wanted to purchase any Apple product here, how to buy, where to buy and how to get the VAT refund. I will explain in detail about this. This procedure is not only for the iPhone, 
it will be applicable for all the products of value more than 5000 thai baht and come under the vat refund category for example let's say you decided to buy an iphone 14 pro max first you need to talk with the retail store employee that i came from india and will i get a vat refund if i purchase from your store if he says yes then you should ask if you have the pp10 form for the vat refund the pp10 form is a vat refund application for tourists if he says yes to that also then you can buy from them without any issues if not don't buy in that store some shops display vat refund for tourists signage also in that kind of store also you can buy if i am not wrong if you buy from online stores you may not be able to avail the vat refund they should duly fill out this pp10 form along with the original tax invoice you should carry your passport and should mention the passport number in that application the vat refund value is around 6% when you are coming back to india in the thailand airport you can collect the vat refund amount in the dedicated vat refund counters first you should complete the customs inspection and then should go to the vat refund counters you should show the original invoice pp10 form and your mobile also to them they will verify all the documents and refund the vat amount if you purchased through a credit card the name on the card and in the passport should match i suggest buying in cash as there will be a currency conversion charge if you swipe the card if you have any doubts you can ask them while purchasing and in the airport as well you need to reach the airport very early before your departure as there will be a lot of rush at the vat refund counters the most important thing you should remember is you should leave thailand within 60 days of the purchase to get a vat refund or else you don't get the vat refund you should double check about this before purchasing as the terms and conditions may be changing you will get this vat refund only for in store purchases and not for any pre booking orders there are a lot of app stores in bangkok so definitely you can get the model and variant you wanted to purchase in any of them if you purchase iphone 14 pro max 256 or 512 gb variant definitely you can save the flight tickets cost so next time if you purchase any luxurious goods in thailand don't forget to avail this vat refund option i am going to do a detailed video about this mbk center soon i will show what you get here and what is the specialty of this mall this video please like comment share and don't forget to subscribe to my channel nomadic mahesh thank you